Can you get decent looking macro shots with your GoPro Hero 9? That's the question we look at in today's video. Coming up. Hey there underwater filmmakers, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of the Underwater Filmmaking School. Now in today's video I want to show you a way how you can actually achieve good looking macro shots with your GoPro Hero 9. Now the problem with getting macro shots with a GoPro Hero 9 or any action cam for that matter is that most action cams will actually have a minimum focusing distance of about a foot. Which means that anything that is closer than a foot away from your lens is not really going to be sharp and in focus. So to demonstrate this to you today I have decided to stay here in the studio because we still have the same situation out in our lakes. We still get a lot of water from all the flooding from the past couple of weeks uh, and it's very murky and there's just no, not really a way for me to show you in the water right now. Um, let's say we've got our um, well-known Mr. Peanut who's going to be our object that we want to film and this is a fairly small object. Now if we place that inside the little coral formation that we've set up here and now I'm probably about a foot away from the image or from the object. Now if I record this what is going to happen is that Mr. Peanut is going to be in focus but he's going to be a long way away from the lens and he's going to appear very small. If I now move the camera closer to my object in uh, to make it appear bigger you will see mm -hmm. that Mr. Peanut is not in focus anymore because I have come too close to the lens. Now what we can use to um, get a workaround um, is to use something like a Macromate Mini which is a specialized wet lens designed by Backscatter that will actually make the focusing distance smaller. Um, it will get down to a couple of inches to the object and it will also magnify the object at the same time. So flipping the Macro Mate Mini onto the GoPro, you will see now instantly that we have a clearer, sharper image and it's also become bigger at the same time. So this is a way how you can get decent looking macro shots. If this is still not close enough for you, you can add on a close-up lens. This is a close-up lens with a diopter of plus 10. And if I screw this on, now you see that Mr. Peanut has become bigger again, but he's a little out of focus. And this is because now with the close-up lens attached, we can go even closer to our object and we can get all the way in here, right about there, and we can get a really nice looking and clean and sharp um, macro shot of Mr. Peanut there. So this is really the only way how you can get good looking macro shots with your um, GoPro. Now as a uh, comparison, if we take the lenses off, this is what it would look without any of the close-up and macromate lenses and you'll see that it's probably out of focus right now and it appears much much smaller putting the lenses back on it just looks instantly very different now i recommend using the macromate mini and the close-up lens on something like the flip filter 9 system from backscatter which is this part here so that you can actually just take that lens combination off if you want to shoot some wide angle stuff you even have an option to attach a um, red or magenta filter to it um, and get some good colors when you're shooting wide angle stuff and if you found something that you want to capture as a macro shot you can take that away put the macro lens uh, back onto or in front of your gopro and you're ready to shoot some amazing macro stuff and that's already it for today a quick tip on how to get better macro shots using your gopro hero 9 in addition with a macro mate and a close-up lens thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing to the channel so you're not missing out on any future tutorials and tips and tricks that I'll be sharing with you here on the Underwater Filmmaker Schools channel. Until next time, 
happy bubbles and have fun capturing your underwater adventures. I will see you in the next video.